Hello everyone, it's Sherry, and thank you for visiting my channel called Blessed Bobbles. I really appreciate you stopping by, and if you're a regular subscriber, thank you very much. If you're new to my channel, I usually do jewelry unboxing, and on the weekends, sometimes I take some of the jewelry, match it together, and put it together in a little set. So that's what we're doing tonight. Tonight is our Friday night fun jewelry bag night. So thanks so much for coming. Let me tell you how to purchase the jewelry if you see something that you like. Please just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the episode number, a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price. Okay? So it's a lot easier on the jewelry bag nights because we don't have to deal with timestamps. So thank you so much for that. And of course, I have Buster along with me to show us the jewelry. So let's get started. Bag number one. I like to build the suspense a little. Bag number one is called Filigree Fun. And first I have the filigree necklace. But I kept it in this bag because I didn't want it to get tangled. It's a beautiful, delicate, double-strand necklace, and it's done in gold tone, copper tone, and silver tone. And look at that. Isn't that so pretty how they just really did all those little tiny details in that? So let me show you how it goes. It's probably too long for Buster, but let's start with the clasp. It has gold tone chain and lobster clasp, and I like that little finishing button. Here's your extender. It's, it's come down on a double chain, and there starts your little filigree circles and ovals. And again, they're done in silver tone, gold tone, and sometimes in a copper color like right here. So this is what it looks like on. It's nice and lightweight and very, very pretty. Like this. There we go, and I'm just gonna lay this up here. So that's the necklace, and the measurement of the necklace is 32 inches to the first drop and 38 inches to the second, okay? So again, the silver tone on here, gold tone here, and some of these are copper. So to go with that, I really like these clip-on earrings. They have silver tone, gold tone, silver tone again, and like a rose gold. I guess I should say rose gold. It's probably uh, meant to look like that rather than copper. Here's your other clip-on, and I really like those with that. Move that back. There we go. I'm still, I'm about to change my table out so that I can have my camera much further back because the way I have it now, I can't really zoom out any more than I have, so thank you for putting up with that. Next, I have this pair of Avon earrings. I just like to add a pair of pierced as well as clip-ons, and I thought that they looked really cute. They're sort of a round shape, and they mimic what's going on in the necklace. So there's your pierced earrings, and again, those are your clip-ons. And then I have this really very pretty bracelet it's done in a gold tone twist with a silver tone in the middle. It's in great shape, and the bracelet measures seven inches. So there we go. Bag number one is called Filigree Fun. We've got a pair of clip-ons in multi-metal, Avon pierced earrings, very gorgeous, nice heavyweight bracelet, and this lovely long necklace. And that is our filigree fun set. And it's in very good condition too, so I hope you love that one. I'm gonna put it back in this bag so it doesn't tangle. It's not too bad, I just wanna be able to show the bag on camera and do it quickly. So bag number one, we're starting out with some fun. And 
bag number one, we will do for 32. $32 for bag one. For some reason, these new bags that I got, the tape is not sticking that well. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But bag number one is all done. Bag number two is called Soft Green. And we're going to start out with the necklace as usual. I really thought this was gemstone. It looks so much like it. I tested it three times just to make sure, but it's actually glass. And the glass is in different kinds of clear, pink, citrine color, even little shades of purple and blue. It's really pretty. It's on a silver tone chain with a lobster clasp. Let me center it. So that's what that looks like. It's really beautiful. This one's purple. These are green. It's a very soft pastel -y color. I like it a lot. So I thought these earrings would look really great with the necklace. And these have sterling silver posts. So that might be important to some of you. And they are a beautiful soft green again. I think they match really well. I'm trying to think what this cut is called, Briole. Now, I'm not an expert, and I don't say everything right, so if I don't, forgive me on that. But they are sterling silver posts, which is very nice. That's the backs, and I really like those with that. They're very delicate color green. Next, I have this silver tone bracelet. It has, like, I guess a geometrical chain type design to it, and it's from Napier lobster clasp. It is new and the bracelet measures seven inches. Yep. So there's that Napier bracelet. And then look at these soft green. I think they're glass. Let me see. Soft green earrings with the halo rhinestone accent. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, those are glass. So that's nice. And again, they're pierced. Always nice, clean new backs on them. And I just love how they go. Such a beautiful, soft green the bracelet here. Okay. Oh, and also, I am, I got my extenders. Aren't they nice? So I'm also adding a three inch extender. So your necklace can go from 18 inches plus three more. So I hope you enjoy that. So here goes your sterling silver earrings and your halo earrings, your napier bracelet, and this lovely pastel -y, very pretty necklace. And your extender. I'm so excited that I got those. So we're calling this bag number two soft green. And the price on this one is sterling and glass and let's say 29 on that. Okay, so bag number two is 29. Okay, bag three is called Stone Cold. Okay, so bag three is Stone Cold. And it's called Stone Cold because it's a stone necklace. I don't know what kind of stone. I apologize for that. But it does test positive for stone. And it's a very silvery gray colored stone with maybe some darker gray swirls in it. And just a touch of, I would say, a pinkish purple color. I thought it was very pretty. It has these glass clear seed beads and a silver tone lobster clasp. So it goes this way with the clear seed beads, the gray stones that are smaller and larger alternately, but not graduating. And they carry the clear seed beads in between the stones. Really cute, isn't that nice? The necklace measures 17 inches. I'm sorry, 17 to 20 inches fully extended 
and it came with matching earrings. So these are the actual earrings that came with this necklace. Not, I didn't match them up together, they actually match as a set. So that was fun, because they're the same kind of stones and all of that. So they have the smaller and the larger stone, and they are on a silver tone wire. But what I did add to it was this stone bracelet. It's on a stretch. Oops, I took off a little charmy thing that was on it and forgot to take this piece off. So let me just get that off. Okay, so it's on a stretch. It has a silver tone piece over here that I thought was nice. And it's on a very good stretch. It's a little stiff, but it's nice. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. So that's the bracelet. The bracelet sits at six and a half, but again, it will stretch. So that's our bag three called Stone Cold. And you've got your stone bracelet, your real stone earrings, and your real stone necklace. I hope you love that one. And Stone Cold is going to be 35. So let me know if you like bag three. Stone cold for 35. Bag number four. I need to get some bigger bags because some of the jewelry is quite bulky, like in this set. So bag four is called multi-metal jam. And we'll start with the necklace. Okay, the earring is a little bit caught in here. Let me get that out. Come on, you. Okay, how did that happen? Wow. What this jewelry does inside that bag, you can't imagine. It just goes crazy in there. All right, I'm going to take the back off and then it'll come off easily so I don't have to pull anything and all of that. This is a silver tone and gold tone necklace. Actually, most of the necklace is silver tone. And this piece in the middle is gold tone, and I like that. I like that it moves. I like the square shape. There's the back. And it's on this nice long snake chain. And then it has this really cool clasp on it that you turn and you pull out, put it in. It's also magnetic. And then you turn it again to lock it. So isn't that nice? So it's a nice long necklace. Of course, you can always double it around and wear it as looking like a two-tier necklace. So that would be pretty. There's that piece. And then to go with that, I have this lovely silver tone and gold tone bracelet. It is a clamper style. It's in terrific shape. I hope you can see the gold tone here and silver tone here. Sometimes it's hard to pick up in camera. So gold tone, silver tone, gold tone, silver tone. Okay, so that's the bracelet. And did I say the necklace was 30 inches? Okay, I don't know why I have 30 inches plus four. What is that about? Let me measure it again. It is 30 inches, but I don't know why I have a plus four because yeah, let me scribble that out. All right, I guess I had a temporary moment of insanity. So back to our multi-metal jam. We've got our necklace, our bracelet, and I love these earrings. They're not a hammered silver tone, but they are they have a little bit of movement to them, you know, like they kind of go up and down a little. They're very nice condition, pierced earrings. And I will put the back on now that I had to take it off before. So I didn't really see any other earrings that really, that I loved with this set. So this is what I'm leaving with this set. So you've got a pair of earrings, necklace, and bracelet. And these are both multi-metal. And this is six and a half inches on that. So you have your, these are nice heavy weight too. Silver tone pierced earrings, this lovely necklace, really cool chain, and your nice chunky clamper bracelet. So 
So that is bag four, multi-metal jam, and here I go with the paper not sticking. That's okay, I'll put it inside. And I will say on this set, we'll do this one for $28, okay? Bag number four, multi-metal jam, 28. Okay, what have we got for bag five? Ooh, this is so pretty. I can't read the maker on this necklace. I'm gonna try to give you a close up of it and see what you all think, but I'll show it to you first. So bag number five is called John Romeo because I'm not sure what it says on the back. It's a really beautiful, big pendant necklace, has a soft, let's see, how can I describe that green? It's a very soft olive kind of a green. Then you've got your pink enamel here and look at those beautiful pink rhinestones in the center of the flowers. I just love this piece. It's on a silver tone Rolo type chain, quite long on the chain and a lobster clasp for the closure. So here's the back of the necklace and that is the maker. So that says China, but that's the maker right there. And I would zoom in my camera, but I'm telling you, if I did, then it wouldn't focus right after that. So let's try this. Let's see if I can get it. Um, I did pretty good with this the other day. Hope I can get it again. If I relax, I can probably do it. But I don't want to drive you crazy. Oh. Okay, it looks like it says J-O-N at the top of the maker's mark. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really want you to see this. It looks like it says J-O-N at the top and Rome Romero at the bottom. I hope you can see that well enough. So I don't know who the maker is, but it's a very lovely necklace. I appreciate your patience. And it's in great shape, really good condition. So that's the necklace. It measures 34 inches long. And Buster let go of my necklace. Come on, Buster boy. So there we go. That's our very pretty green and pink. It's just lovely colors. So to go with the necklace, I really like these. I can't call them filigree. They're more of a textured flower pierced earring and I love how they open right here and just close back in there they're in great shape they are silver tone love the pattern on the back too so I thought that was so beautiful with that necklace let's see with my camera here all right that's better and I also like to put these green stud earrings in with the set to give it a little pop of color. Those are pierced as well. And I have a little flower ring. Not sure if that's a mood ring. I don't think it is because there's like a bump in the back. But this is a vintage adjustable costume ring with like a crystal and it's got some little sparklies in the middle. So it almost has a little green and pink effect to it. But I like that with it. The ring does measure six and a half, but it is adjustable. And that's our John Romeo set of jewelry. So on this set, here, let's put everything in the bag first. You got pierced green and pierced flowery texture. Very long necklace at 34 inches and the very sweet ring. So let me know if you know who that maker is because we all want to learn and be able to know who the makers are from here on in. And then I can take a picture of the label, the maker's label, and put it in my files because I'm collecting a lot of the maker files. And let's say for this set, $42. That way we're right down the middle. If this is something fabulous, you get a deal if it's something just beautiful then it's all fair okay so bag five 
is 42. Bag number six, I've been wanting to give this bag for a long time. I just couldn't find too many pieces to match, so I'm just gonna go for it. And bag number six is called Coro Blue. Coro, the vintage jewelry maker. And here it is. It's absolutely stunning. It's a silver tone necklace that has a really pretty patina. The stones here are a very pretty sapphire blue. And then they're clear here and here. Clear here. And then the tiny ones here are also blue. So that's the necklace. And look at the cool chain it's on. And then it comes to the spring ring clasp. And I love the patina. It was so hard to match pieces with that beautiful patina color. And on the back is your signature Coro. So I hope you're really excited about this beautiful vintage piece. I'm so happy to offer it. And that's because I found a pair of earrings that I'm happy with. And I believe these are from Avon. They have Avon backs on them. And I think I did research and they come up as Avon. And they also have beautiful blue rhinestones, of course, in the shape of a flower, and they're pierced. They might even be, they look very um, pewter to me, which was a real help in matching that patina color with the necklace. So that's our Coro set. There was nothing else that would have looked good with that. And the necklace measures 14 inches, so I am adding a four inch extender. And you're gonna probably just have to wait till this gets some pretty patina or it's gonna be in the back, so it'll be okay. So this is bag six called Coro Blue with an extender and with these beautiful earrings. So in go your pierced earrings, your awesome Coro necklace, this was a bit rare. I did not see a lot of these. I had to look for quite a while to find another. So hope that's really a treat. And your extender. And Coro Blue is gonna be $48. Hope you love that one. Bag number seven is called Silver O's. I mean, that's about all I could think of on this one. It's a very beautiful silver tone necklace, lobster clasp, yep, Rolo chain, and look at the texture on this. You probably remember me unboxing this, and it's been one of my favorites. It is a three-tier necklace. So first it comes with the chain, then a bigger link chain, and then it repeats those lovely textured O's on it and smaller Rolo on the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it sitting right here so you can see the three tiers. And the measurement on that is 28 inches to here, 32 inches to here, and 40 inches to here. And so here again are the textured O's that are on it. Then it splits into the three chains and it's in really fabulous condition. So there's your necklace. And to go with the necklace, I really liked the texture of this bracelet. This is a Goldette bracelet. Isn't that fun? It's signed Goldette right there. And silver tone with the box clasp or fold over clasp. And it's just really cool. So it sort of separates in certain areas and then they attach it along the way. So it has a little bit of movement and I love it with that. I love it with that necklace, very much so. And I love that it's a gold hat. That's so fun. Also with this set, I'm putting in these sparkly silver tone, nice big hoop earrings. I really like how they look with the set. I can't wait till my camera can go back further because I'll be able to show you much more. But I hope you can see all that just fine. 
So you've got the pierced earrings, the gold at bracelet, and I'm adding these pierced earrings too. They're super cute. They're almost a full circle round ball and they are pierced. And let me see if those are all little tiny rhinestones or just glittery. I can't remember that. Um, yeah, it's a texture. So isn't that cool? They look like rhinestones, but it's very textured, which is what this set is all about, texture. So that's bag number seven, Silver O's. And the bracelet is seven inches, by the way. And this bag is 35. So I hope you love your nice, big, sparkly hoop earrings. They're shiny on one side and like a frosty glitter on the other, but not not a cheapy glitter, really nice looking. These textured little ball earrings, the Goldet bracelet, and this really awesome long silver O's necklace. So in goes your beautiful piece. And it does look like it has never ever been worn, and I love that. I love to offer good things in good condition. So that's bag seven silver O's for 35. For those that are just joining me, thank you for coming along. I'm Sherry and my channel is called Blessed Baubles and I do a lot of jewelry unboxing. And then I'll take some of that jewelry, match it together, see if I can put together a set that looks pretty. And everyone has really enjoyed the matching sets. So thank you for being here. If you see a bag that you like, or one or two or five, email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and let me know what the episode number is, a brief description of the jewelry, bag number, and the price it was given. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome to take a screenshot of this or even pause your video so you can write this down and then come right back and see the rest of the jewelry. I did want to let you all know that I don't think we can leave an email in the comments. So I have been, it's hard because when someone asks me a question in the comments, I can't say contact me or email me because if I do, YouTube has some kind of a new safety flag up that does not want people to say contact me or something like that. So. Just letting you know that if I'm not answering you in the email saying, hey, email me at this address, it's because there's some kind of a safety thing up right now. And I'm letting you know what my email is right here. Okay, so thank you. And we can't forget our subscribe sign. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Okay, now let's get on to bag number eight. Bag eight is called Jet Set. Jet Set, okay? And the necklace does have the initials PD on it, so I think it might be a Premier Designs. Um, that's what I would assume. Let me just get that little string off of there. Okay. So, Bag eight, Jet Set. First, we have these gorgeous glass faceted black beads. They are all hand knotted and they are really beautiful glass beads. Heavy, very geometrical, and I hope you can see all the hand knotting in there. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. And the top of it finishes with a very lovely ribbon. And I just have it just tied that one time there. So here's your black glass necklace. And it has this really beautiful pendant on it that's, I would say, it's kind of bronzy or antique to looking. And it has beautiful AB, purple and green colors on it. And a rhinestone in the middle as well. I just love the colors. And they even add the little rhinestones around the bale. And it looks to me like this might, oh, I didn't realize that this can come off. So you can actually take this off because it's a necklace enhancer? Yes, it is. That is so fun. 
the things you see when you're up close in your camera. So there's the mark right there. It says a capital P and a capital D. I think that would be Premier Designs. It looks very, very vintage and beautiful. And the glass is just so lovely. So there's your necklace. I'm gonna ha let Buster hold it for us on the back. And I believe these are matching earrings. They look exactly like it. Exactly like the pendant. Here, I'll show you. So we have a matching set. Isn't that just wonderful? I love a matching set. And it has a purple rhinestone in the middle again. I think it's more like a like a brass. See how it's like a vintage brass tone? And again, with the mark right there. So I hope you love that. I hope you love when it's signed. I know I do. Just adds a little more security of knowing what it is. And along with this beautiful set, I'm adding this lovely all enamel black bracelet. It's a cuff. And let me think here. It just is a lovely open work design. It's not absolutely perfect. There's a little bit of like enamel miss right there, just so you know. But it's really undetectable, especially on the wrist. So I hope you don't mind that. I just thought it was so pretty and it was worth adding to the set. Look how it looks on. You can also bend it a little bit and change the size, but just don't bend too much, okay? So the necklace measures 22 inches where I have that knot tied in it. And of course you can go much longer or shorter, which is the nice part about the ribbon. The bracelet measures seven and a half inches. And then you've got your matching earrings, both signed. And then I'm gonna add these cloisonne type earrings just for an extra pair. You can wear it together or in addition to, or wear them with something else. There's the back. And of course they always have new backs on them as well. And that's in the shape of a pretty little flower too. So I hope you love that. Bag number eight called Jet Set. Probably from Premier Designs. In that jet black glass. And the price on this one is 44. So there goes your lovely bracelet, your extra pierced earrings, and your matching set. Nice heavy black glass beads, beautiful colors. Gently in the bag. Bag number eight, jet set for 44. Bag number nine is another piece of jewelry from my friend Betty. She had sent me that friend mail a while back and wow, it is just blessing me over and over again. So thank you, Betty. And I do have some friend mail that I still need to open. So if you sent me some, please don't worry. I will get to it, I promise you. I will never forget anything that you guys have done like that in such a loving manner just that it's been a crazy week and I'll get to that next, okay? So we have this set of jewelry from Justin Justin and Taylor. Not sure about the maker, there weren't too many online, but it does appear to be dyed howlite in that red and turquoise color that we all love with some black stones on the bottom and they're nice and soft. The earrings are on the top part of this card, pierced, in gold tone and this is the necklace gold tone chain and look at that it's not that beautiful so you've got the howlite stone I'm pretty sure and the red larger beads smaller red on the bottom and then the turquoise color bead on the top and again all of these black stones on the bottom and they're very, very soft to the touch. So hope you love that. I'll just leave it right on the card and leave the earrings right there. I tried really hard to find a bracelet or something else to go with this set, but when you've got that color red and the turquoise, it wasn't easy. But I did find this bracelet that looks like a druzy, but it's done with all rhinestones. Isn't that really pretty? 
so so different it's nice and heavy on a gold tone bangle style and the back is really cool i just thought that was really awesome i think it goes really well so let me give you some measurements the necklace is 17 to 20 inches because you've got an extender so you've got that 17 to 20 inches and I forgot to say my funny name I made up for it, but I'll say that in a minute. So necklace and earring matching. And then the bracelet that I found that is seven and three quarter inch bangle. So that's bag number nine called Just In Time. I wanted to call it something a little bit different, so that's what I'm calling it. And for this bag, we're doing 42. Okay, I hope you love all that red and turquoise and black, nice colors, and the fact that it's a matching set again. So I think we have, how many things do we have that have matching? We've got that stone cold bag. We've got the, um, a couple of things I remember. Premier Designs, Just in Time. Well, maybe some others that are coming up. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Dump out the jewelry, show you the name. Bag number 10, I'm calling Golden Sparkle. And the necklace is very, very interesting. It's quite a long necklace. It's done in a very pretty, almost a 24 karat gold tone and a silver tone. It's a long necklace, so give me just a minute to get it untangled because I'm telling you. The jewelry has a party in that bag and tends to get a little bit tangly. So here's our necklace and I don't know who the maker is. It has this really pretty little rhinestone on that side but look nothing on the side. Thanks a lot whoever you are. Lobster clasp extender. Very nice little snake chain and then it comes into these nice heavy beads. So you've got the gold tone with almost a druzy that again I think is made out of little rhinestones. But it almost looks like a like a druzy effect. Yes, it's so cool. And then you've got the silver tone here, gold tone little bead there. And look at this, isn't that so pretty? So that is a gold tone as well with swirlies on it. Almost like a 1928 look to it and with the silver tone in the middle. So I just thought that was so pretty. I love all the different texturing and shiny, hammered, hammered there and swirly. It's just a really lovely piece. And that's how it finishes at the bottom. So let me see if I can get it to behave on Buster so you can get a look at it there. And then I'll give you some measurements. Yes, there you go. So I really think it's a pretty piece. Um, okay, so it's 40 inches long, a nice long necklace. And with it, I am adding this beautiful brass multi-cuff bracelet. Now I've looked at this and I think it's all brass, but I can't be exactly sure. I don't know how to test for that. If it's not, then it sure is in great condition. So again, a multi-cuff bracelet, beautiful brass with texture. I love it with this necklace. Looks really nice. And the bracelet measures six and three quarters. And then with that, I'm adding these clip-on earrings that are also a deeper gold tone clip-ons. Nice and lightweight, and I love the texture of those. So there's your clip-ons. And they are closely matching the bracelet too, which is fun. And then just to bring in the silver tone and gold tone, I have these pierced earrings that have silver tone on the outside and gold tone in that center. And there's the back. So I hope you love all of that gold and silver different textures, beautiful beads on the necklace. 
I did say it's 40 inches, six and three quarters on the bracelet. So that's why I called it Golden Sparkle, because it has a nice rich gold tone and some pretty sparkle. So Golden Sparkle bag number 10 is going to be $39. So in go your lovely clip-ons, your pierced earrings, this really nice brass cuff bracelet, and awesome, awesome necklace. And I like how also if the beads turn over, it's just as pretty on the other side. So I'll fold that gently. It's got some good weight to it too. And put that in the bag. That's bag number 10, gold and sparkle. Come on, stick on there for me. Come on, baby. Okay, moving along. I'm trying to include lots of rhinestones for the holidays and just because they're beautiful pieces. So bag 11 is called Chevron Rhinestone. And we'll start with the beautiful necklace, just a lovely, almost like a teardrop on the bottom. So you have your chevron type shape here, rhinestones dropping down to a larger teardrop stone and haloing around the outside. And of course the rhinestones go all the way up the necklace and it finishes with the lobster clasp and your extender. So let's give it to Buster and have him give us a show. There's our necklace. Just love that shape. It's just so dramatic and pretty. The necklace measures 16 inches plus two, because I'm adding a two inch extender, so it can be 16 to 18. So hope you love that. I've been waiting for those and I'm so excited that they're here. And I'm adding these really pretty rhinestone earrings. They have a little bit of movement to them I hope you can see how they just dangle from there. They are pierced. There's the backs. And I just love how they look with that. They almost pick up the sides of it again. And they allow this dramatic part to be all in its own category. So it doesn't take away, the earrings don't take away from the shape, which I really like. And then I'm adding this Kendra Scott bracelet that's full of rhinestones. It's signed right there, and it's called Crown Mary Caroline. I looked it up, and yeah, they go for quite a bit, the Kendra Scott, but I'm adding it with this set. It's worth it, and the bracelet measures seven and a half inches. So there's your Kendra Scott silver tone and rhinestone bracelet, and your very beautiful rhinestone straight earrings, your chevron rhinestone necklace, plus extender for that set. Okay, really wasn't any other earrings that did it justice, so I left it just like that. So bag 11, chevron rhinestone, is for 37. I think the bracelet has some good value and of course the rhinestones are always long lasting. So I hope you love bag 11. Bag number 12 is called Romancing the Stones. I hope I don't run out of these funny sayings because there's only so much you could call jewelry. But that's what bag 12 is called. I have no idea who the maker of this necklace is, but isn't it gorgeous? It has this very rich gold tone to it. Lobster clasp. Not sure what kind of chain you'd call that, but it just has a lovely, like a 24 karat gold tone to it. And then it goes into these beads that are all different colors. Soft blue, yellow, green, pink, and almost like a... Um, the center stone, I don't know what to call that, but it's like, it's like an opal, that's what it's like. It's got a very opaline sparkle to it. It's just so pretty. There's the back of it. It's got some nice weight from all the glass that's on it, and I like how they just really made that a quality piece in the middle. Okay, enough yapping. That's our really pretty I don't know who made you necklace. 
really tough to match. But I did find these gorgeous earrings from Roman. And they are signed Roman on the back. Really good quality here. And again with the opal type center and all the different color rhinestones are on the outside. Pretty good, huh? That's a tough necklace to match, but I like that with it very much. I hope you do too. And I hope you love getting a pair of Roman earrings because they're very sweet. And then I have these couple of bangles. Nice, again, rich gold tone, textured. I think they measure, yeah, eight inches. So that's your bangles. And the necklace measures 16 inches plus a three inch gold extender. So I hope you like that. I'll add that with our set of jewelry so you can have a choice of wearing it 16 inches or 19. And last but not least, I'm adding this little pink brooch. It's all glass, has a pearly type piece in the center. I just thought it went nice. It's gold tone, and it's just a cutie. So I hope you love this pink set called Romancing the Stones. And this set is for 34. So if you like this one, just let me know. I like bag number 12, Romancing the Stones for 34. And if you email me before anyone else, then you'll get the bag. So there's your extender, your brooch, your Roman earrings, lovely necklace, lovely rich gold tone, and some bangles, okay? Bag 12. Bag 13 is another nice surprise. I'm pulling out my special pieces. Bag 13 is called Trafari Terrific. This is a beautiful Trafari necklace. Look at this. Isn't that gorge? Oh, it's silver tone. It's got the hook and the ball. It's signed Trafari right there. It's so, so pretty. Let's see. I think it goes one way or the other. Maybe this way. It's silver tone and absolute Trafari quality. Let me just hook it on here so I can talk about the different um, different way it's made. It just looks very jet set, doesn't it? So these are smooth, and then you have these lines through the next bead. And then smooth, and then textured, um, alternating. Just a beautiful necklace from Trafari. I'm putting these clip-on earrings with it because... They are also silver tone and they have that same kind of shape to it. These are those comfort clip earrings that you can, they're a screw back, but they're also spring. So they have lots of adjustability, if you know what I mean. So that's your clip-ons. I thought they looked great with that. And then I'm adding, oops, it's getting stuck a little bit. I'm adding another pair of silver tone hoop earrings. I think these are sterling. Let me see the mark on it. Oh my goodness, are these also Trafari? Let me see what it says. No, actually these are um, sterling Israel earrings. That's right. Okay, because we have to add something marvelous with the Trafari necklace. But you know, they say Israel. Let me just make sure. Yep, there's the 925. Okay. So sterling silver Israel hoops with your gorgeous Trafari necklace. I hope you love those. And if you need to know how big the hoop is, it's about... Hmm, it's bigger than three quarters, or just under an inch. So I hope you love your sterling Israel hoops. Another big name is the bracelet, and it's a clamper, and it's by Monet, and there's your signature inside. So lots of big names in this set. 
sterling silver, Israel, Trafari, Monet. We got to up it all, you know, now and then, right? And also the necklace measures 16 inches. So I'm adding a four inch extender with the two lobster clasps. So I hope you're just loving that one. And this Trafari, Silver Israel, Monet. I'm going to price it up a bit. Hope you don't mind. But let's see. I'm going to go 65 on this one. Okay? I think if you bought the Monet somewhere, by the way, Monet bracelet is six and a half. If you bought the bracelet and the Sterling Israel and the clip-ons and the trafari. You'd have to probably get them from different places and pay different shipping. So I hope it's nice that it's all put together and that you'll love it. I'm loving this set for sure. Bag 13, terrific trafari, 65. Bag 14 is called Brushed Beauty. Let me change that number because it looks like a 19. Bag 14. Maybe I could make my numbers bigger for the camera next time. Okay, I'll do that next time. So Brushed Beauty. I've been adoring this necklace. Brushed gold tone. Gorgeous piece. And it's from Madewell. It's got the beautiful lobster clasp. And it's made in this really pretty 1980s brushed gold tone with a sort of circle and square design. So let me lay it out so you can see it nicely on the buster. Really pretty color to the necklace. Let me fiddle with it a little bit. I probably have it twisted this way. Okay, let me just straighten it out. So that it lays nicely. Okay. Because we want this beautiful thing to act like it was made to act. And not look like it's twisting because Sherry didn't get it right. So there you go. Made well. Brushed gold necklace. Now the necklace measures 16 inches. And I'm adding a 4 inch extender. So if you wanted it to be 20 inches, there you go. So 16 to 20 inches on the necklace. And because it's brushed gold tone, I gotta bring in my brushed gold pieces. We've got these brushed gold tone pierced earrings that have this sort of flip back on them. And I know you'll write to me and tell me what it's really called, so thank you for that. So brushed gold tone hoops, very soft brushed gold tone to go. And then these really beautiful Anne Klein pierced earrings, also in that nice satiny brushed gold. And they are signed on the back. Right there, Anne Klein pierced as well. Oops, I have to put another gold tone back on this part, so I'll do that. So there you go. Bag 14 is called Brushed Beauty. And we'll do this one for 32. So you have your Anne Klein earrings, your gold tone hoops, extender, and your Madewell necklace. Hope you love that. Say goodbye to bag 14, brushed beauty. We're finishing off with bag 15, and bag 15 is called Tourmaline Queen. Let's see what we've got for this one. We have this gorgeous chevron shape again, but in beautiful tourmaline stones. And it's on a lovely chain, silver tone chain, and finishes, yeah, I thought it was cubic zirconias, but when I tested it again, it went way past that. So it is tourmaline. So let me take that off so I don't confuse anybody. So that's the necklace sort of a tiny lobster clasp, a little extender, delicate chain, and just this gorgeous sparkle. 
really pretty purpley color. There's the back. It's all open in the back. And it's signed on the back, China. And JMC. Okay, so that's the maker. But there's your beautiful necklace. And the necklace measures 19 inches. So that's a pretty good length. I'm adding this gorgeous bracelet with it. The stones on the bracelet also have a purpley sparkle to them. Let me turn on Miss Percy because I don't remember what the bracelet tested as. So let's see what she has to say. Okay, and also while we're at it, I'll show you. It has this little safety clasp I don't want to break my nail, so let me open that. There we go. And then we push the button and open it there. Let me see if I missed any marks inside, because sometimes they're in here. No, not seeing any. I really thought this piece should have been marked because it's also all open, which lends people to think that the stone is nicer than just nothing because they want the light to get through. But I can't see any mark for the life of me. Anyway, let me test again, see what these do. Okay, so they are staying at glass, but they're beautiful sparkly well done very well done bracelet for sure thanks miss prissy okay i'll close it up like that i put the safety clasp on it put it back with your set so you can see how great it matches and let you know that the bracelet measures six and three quarters so 19 inches six and three quarters and to go with this i'm adding these really pretty sparkly rhinestone earrings and they are silver tone as well there's the back love those with that it's almost the opposite of this is this shape you know so sometimes i don't see why i added something until i'm talking about it in the video which is really fun and i'm also adding these earrings what does it say over here oh it says that they're it's a quality pair of earrings again and these are all prong set and again they're open in the back so they're very expensive looking earrings don't remember seeing any marks but I just hope you love all of that they're like a half hoop earring so that's our tourmaline queen set and goes your really pretty quality bracelet prong set half hoop earrings, sparkly rhinestone, and tourmaline, nice pieces there. Okay, and carefully, tourmaline queen, bag 15, <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme that, and I will say, let's say, what's my little price back there? Hmm, I think there's a lot of nice quality pieces in there. But I'm going to say 48 on that. So bag 15 is $48. Okay, guys. I'm not going to make a craft jar tonight. I did a video, I think last night, with lots of craft jars. And I hope that you'll go back and see that. Um, there's a few of those left. And I'm thinking, I keep this bag next to me. I hate to show you the bag, but... It's just a little white bag and I fill it all the time with pieces that I want to sell on my channel. I don't remember all what's in here, but let's just add a few things to this video and see how you all like it. Okay, so my bag of things I wanna sell, <clears throat> sorry about that, <clears throat> on my channel. This is so, <clears throat> gosh, I'm sorry. This is so stunning. I think I've had this a long time. And gosh, I'm going to have to turn on Miss Prissy again. 
It is a vintage gold tone cross, as you can see, with a beautiful stone in the middle that is prong set in there. Just look at that open work and how beautiful it is. And the chain, the chain, I mean, they just don't make them like this anymore. To make a piece of jewelry back in this day, I don't know when it was made exactly, let's say even in the 70s, and this many years later, look at the chain. I just don't think today's chains would last like like they did back in this day. I just I'm just I'm just floored with it. So anyway, the chain has like a textured uh, like a texture to it, and I love that too because it looks so pretty with the cross. So let's see how it looks on Buster. Let me measure it first because I didn't do all that because I wasn't expecting to pull these out. I just thought last minute. Let's see what I have in the sell on my channel bag. 24 inches on the chain for this really pretty vintage cross. And I want you to get an idea of the shape of it, how it's concave like that. It's just not cheaply done. It's nicely done. And you can see the stone through the back. So it might be just glass, but let's see. Yes, it is a beautiful piece of green glass. A lot of things in that time were made to look like um, jade. And I'm so, so happy to offer this. Um, I did give you the measurements, but let me measure the cross so you can know how big that is too. It is exactly three inches. So I hope you love this piece. And I am going to say 35 for that. I just think it's worth it. It's such great shape. You let me know what you think. Because I'm not an expert. I'm just a girl opening boxes of jewelry. And just trying to use some common sense on whether things are harder to find. Uh, not something you can pick up every day. And that it would be worth that. So I hope you love that piece. Let's see what else do I have in my bag. Hmm, I don't remember, so it's like opening it for the first time for me too. And I don't remember if these are from unboxings or what, but this appears to be a really tiny seed bead necklace, really shimmery turquoise color. And the whole thing is knotted onto this gorgeous glass that looks to me like a peacock feather, right? And then it is signed on the back, but for the life of me, I can't read what it says. Maybe it goes this way. Let me try one more time with the loop and see if I can figure it out. Yeah, it's all like... I do see a word C-A-R-R-E-R and -R -E -R, glass. Carer glass. And I can't make out the word on the top. Something with an O on the end. I'm probably going to feel so silly when I figure out what the name is. But it looks like something Questro Carer and it's like an O and glass. Okay? It's it's very beautiful. It measures 18 inches to that knot. Peacock feather, I would suppose. And I'll say $18 on this necklace. What else is in my bag of tricks? Um, let's see. This is a pretty color. What have we here? Oh, I remember this. This, I was going to make a bag of jewelry out of this tonight, but there's a couple of reasons why I could not. Let me take that little string off that's on it, because I was not expecting to just pull things out of the bag, but it's fun. All right, we have this maybe older brass necklace, and it comes up to these really pretty turquoise color glass beads. And then it comes into this really cool oval hammered chain. 
and then some more different colored beads. And that does appear to be kind of glass right there, doesn't it? Don't know what those are, but it finishes off with this really beautiful piece of quartz, but there's a crack in it. Isn't that a bummer? Look at the bottom with the tassel. It's got purple and blue. It's a gorgeous necklace. So beautiful. But I didn't know what to do with it because there's a crack in this. Now you can't feel the crack. It does not appear it's going to break or do anything, but I don't know if you'd enjoy wearing it like that. Maybe it's a natural thing. I have no idea. There is a little like imperfection there or a chip maybe. Maybe that's what cracked it. I have no idea. I just know it's beautiful and I hope someone can use that and enjoy it. Maybe you could put a different pendant here, but I'll just say five dollars on that, okay? All right, what is next? Okay, we have this gold tone bracelet toggle clasp and it has these very AB crystally beads and these lovely, I think, butterflies. Oh, yeah, it looks like dragonflies with rhinestones. Then this nice heavy glass AB crystal bead. And then it looks like a little butterfly. And this carved shell piece is very lovely. Mother of Pearl. A couple more AB crystal slidey beads. And another butterfly on this side. So I just thought that was a great piece. I don't know who the maker is. Let's see. Looks like, I don't know if that's anything there. Like sometimes the dot might mean Avon, but no, not in this case. That's just how it's made. So that's the bracelet. Let me get my bracelet measure and let you know how big it is. It is, mm, I'd say between six and a half and six and three quarters. It's a stunner. I thought it was too unique to put with the jewelry bag, so it just had, you know, these special little things on it. So I will say 14 on that piece. It's got great weight to it, too. What have I got in my bag of tricks? I got this a long time ago with one of the vintage jewelry hauls that I did. It's just a little box, maybe gold finish on it, or made of, I don't know. And there's the inside of it. It's kind of old. And it has these stones on it. It does clip. It is missing one here. And missing one here, here, and here. But I did have several people ask me for this. And I put it aside for a while. It could use some cleaning. I'm scared to death to clean it so I don't pop anything off. But let me just, let me see if brushing it quickly will We'll add a little pizzazz to it for you. I just don't want to touch any of the vintage jewelry and make something fall off again, you know? So there's this little box. I have no idea what it's worth or anything like that. So I'll just say $10 on that. Maybe you find it really cool. Maybe it reminds you of something. I just don't know. Okay. This is, oh, this might be a nice gift for a male person in your family. It's quite a large bracelet. It's gorgeous. It has this rich gold tone. It's a stainless steel bracelet, by the way. It is marked in here somewhere, stainless steel. Right inside this. Let's do that first. Right there, I believe. Yep, stainless steel, but it's so beautiful. So it has gold tone in the middle, silver tone on the outsides. And then almost like this Maltese cross full of rhinestones. And then it repeats. It's so beautiful. So I thought maybe that would be a great gift for someone, for yourself or anyone. Let me give you a measurement of it. It's just really pretty and beautiful quality. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. It measures about, I'd say, an 8. So it is a size 8. That would fit most gentlemen. So if you love that, you want to buy that as a gift or something, 
I'm going to say $20 on that stunning, handsome bracelet. Okay, I don't want the video to run too long. Let's see what else I can hurry up and show you. Oh boy, we're going to have to get out Miss Percy again. Or maybe I'll just say this is a lovely stone bracelet in pink tones and brown. It's on a stretch in great shape. It has this apple charm on it. Yeah, that's what I'll say. We do know that it's natural stone of some kind, but not sure what it is. Maybe some type of jasper. Oops, she's not ready yet. Okay, anyway, that's that stretch bracelet, and I'll say $6 on that. This looks like a tiger eye bracelet on a beautiful stretch, and it has this really cool brass like bead caps, and it's wrapping around maybe a piece of onyx. It's a very dark stone in the middle, and then back to the tiger's eye and hematite in between. Isn't that lovely? It's just a very majestic looking bracelet. And I will say 18 on that one. Nice flash, right? So for these pieces, I would appreciate a time stamp on those, okay? Now this necklace is on a leather cord, silver tone lobster clasp, and it's a nice piece of lapis lazuli pretty sure it is. I tested it on by looking at the gem app. If you think it's something different, do let me know. But it does appear to be lapis. And it's got these silver tone beads on the ends. So if you like that piece of lapis, oh, the beads on the sides of the lapis are sterling silver too. They've got some good weight to them. But the clasp is not. So that's that one. Sterling silver beads and lapis, and I'll say 15 on that. And if you need a measurement on the on the necklace, it's 20 inches. So maybe you can use the beads or something. All right, one more, and I've got to go. Although there's so much stuff in here, and I wish I could show it all. So someone bought one of the gemstone necklaces that was called beggar's beads and if you're watching tonight i think this bracelet i'm not sure if it matches exactly but it sure is very very close so you'll know when you look at it the clasp is sterling silver the beads are so beautiful they are all these different shapes and go into these like you know a square shape round and then back to this one here is not so pretty with a sterling clasp so i thought you might want to know that this bracelet might match your necklace or if someone else wants it by all means you're very welcome to it the bracelet measures about seven inches all stone and sterling silver and i'll say 16 on that piece okay so I better stop there Trying to think what you guys have asked me for too. Oh, I have all these Alex and Ani that are all sterling silver. Um, they've all been tested and they're sterling. And I'm just gonna say five dollars on each of these. Okay, let me show you the main charm on each one. This one has a letter J. Alex and Ani, sterling silver, five dollars letter J. This one has. Ooh, a cowboy boot. Really nice. Sterling silver, $5. This one has some flowers. Oval shape. Oh, it says something on the back. Sister. Friends forever. Lovely. Okay, there's that one. And this one has another letter J on it. All sterling, Alex and Ani, $5. This one has probably a graduation cap. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute, right? 
Let's say that's a graduation cap. Alex and Ani Sterling, $5. This one has maybe a bear paw, probably. I said paw on there, so I guess. So Alex and Ani, $5. This one has a flower on it as well and says something there. Let's see. Let me look in the loop because it says granddaughter. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so $5 on that sterling as well. And last but not least, this one says friend. Friend with a flower on it. So let me know which Alex and Ani you want. They're just five bucks a piece. I forgot to show those on my last sterling video, so I appreciate being able to show them tonight. So I better get going. I hope the video doesn't run too long. I'm going to get to work on my thumbnail. I hope I can make a pretty one. And we'll see you again. Hopefully next time we're going to be opening a new box of jewelry. I'll arrange all this the best I can. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.